my loose sled. Um, the sled basically consists of uh, two metal runners. What we call the actual fiberglass and wood part is called the kufen. The sled is on two bridges, metal bridges, which is connected to the pod of the sled, which is made out of fiberglass. And uh, I'll just flip this over and I'll show you how we steer it. Basically, if you want to make a left turn, you push back with your left shoulder onto the back of the pod and you press down with your right calf on the sled. So you're basically using opposites to actually steer the sled. If you want to go to the right, you press down with your right shoulder into the pod and you use your left leg to push on the kufin, the left kufin. So you're basically doing opposites. We do have handles on the sled, but we don't really use those much for steering. These are our training shoes. If you can kind of see, there's a rough sole on these, and it gives you a little bit extra help with walking on the ice. But these are the race ones, and if you can see, there's nothing rough about them. They're very smooth, and when you actually change from the training shoes to the race shoes, you could actually go about half a second faster, which is quite a lot. The next thing that I have here are my weight shorts. If you don't weigh about 90 kilos or about 200 pounds, then you actually have to wear additional weight to you know, kind of balance out the playing field. These are what go on underneath. They kind of help me from spiking yourself from your gloves, which are these, if you can see, they're, they're very, they're sharp, and once you pull off the handles, you actually pedal on the ice to get yourself moving down the hill. Back support, because losers are known to have bad backs. This is the helmet, and it's designed for aerodynamics, as if you see, this is actually a visor, which goes on top of it, and it basically keeps it so you can still see an aerodynamic as possible. Thank you.